You don't need to fly way to Houston, Texas to have a delicious stuffed turkey wing or turkey leg. Let me show you how easy it is to make a stuffed turkey leg or wing at home. Let's get into the video. Let's go. What's up my YouTube family? I'm on today's menu. We are going to try to recreate some stuffed turkey legs and wings inspired by Turkey Leg Hut. So, I have some beautiful turkey legs and turkey wings here that I already washed really good. And now I'm about to season them with these seasonings right here. Alright, so we are going to season these bad boys up and I'm going to be back to tell you guys what I am going to stuff them with. Okay, y'all, here's my beautiful turkey wings that I just um, seasoned up and threw in the oven. So I have my oven on 350. I mean, um, typically I guess you're supposed to roast these, but hey, if you don't feel like, or excuse me, you're supposed to smoke these, I guess if you don't feel like going outside getting your smoke or all revved up, here's an alternate, alternate route. So y'all just stay tuned and watch how good these bad boys gonna be. Okay, you guys, so what I have here is some um, smoked sausage that I cut up and some um, jumbo shrimp. And what I'm gonna do, I have some leftover Alfredo sauce from the other day. So what I'm gonna do is let these saute in the butter. And what I sprinkled on here is some Old Bay seasoning and also some uh, Creole Cajun seasoning. Um, and what I'm gonna do is take my leftover Alfredo sauce, cause I'm only gonna need a smidget um, for these turkey wings. And I'm going to combine everything and then we are gonna pour everything over those legs put them in a broiler, let them get a little crusty, and I will be back, guys, to show you the finished results. Okay, my YouTube family, I'm, I'm back. Okay, so this is my um, shrimp and sausage. So what I did, again, is I, um, I just sauteed this in some butter and garlic, and what I'm going to do is add some Alfredo sauce that I already pre-made and saved. Um, and what I'll do guys is I'll put the um, recipe to my Alfredo sauce in the description below. So, what I'm going to do very carefully, let's see if I can show you. Here is some, here is some leftover Alfredo sauce. It's already packed with so much flavor, so much cheese, so delicious. So let's add that right over with our sausage, not too much. I think that should be enough there, let me see. Okay, so we added in some Alfredo sauce. Now what I'm also going to do is add a little bit more cheese to this mixture as well. This is so fun. Listen, I'm winging it, and guess what? Y'all winging it right with me, but I bet you it's gonna taste good. So I'm gonna add some Italian cheese blend. Okay. Also going to add in some Romano and Parmesan. Let's add a little bit of that. Okay, just like that. Boom, boom. And now let's give it a good stir. And again, you guys, I will um, put the recipe to my Alfredo down in the description below look at that oh yeah I think this is how I want it and what I decided to do y'all because I'm having so much fun what I also have that I made earlier this week is the um I have some extra filling from my um stuffed bell peppers so it has like that dirty rice that ground beef those onions that seasoning so I said shoot I'm gonna do two um I'm gonna do two turkey wings with the rice and we're going to try two turkey wings with the um, Cajun shrimp and sausage alfredo. We're going to see what it do. We're going to see what it be like. We having fun. 
so this is looking like, this is looking good. This is looking good. This is looking creamy. This is looking cheesy. Look at that. Look at there. Look at there. So y'all, I'm going to turn this fire off and I'm going to take you over to the table because it's time to build these little guys. And then after we build them, that's why I'm not really going to cook this too much because um, I'm going to put them in the oven. We'll be back, guys, at the table. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So let's start with our um, dirty rice, if you will, stuffed little wings. And listen, I've seen this, like I told y'all earlier, I've seen this, um, people trying to do this and copy off a of turkey leg hut, which is like a famous place that sells like famous turkey wings in um, Houston, Texas. So I was like, listen, and, and listen, their turkey wings are basically like super huge, right? And they're also smoked. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to use what I got in my freezer and see if I could like kind of replicate this my way. And um, I ain't felt like smoking nothing. So as y'all seen earlier, I put my turkey wings right in the oven and we about to like make it do what it do. We just having fun. So let me show y'all this this is my filling that I use for my um, stuffed bell peppers it's basically like um, dirty rice you know um, onion ground beef um, there's just a whole bunch of daggone seasonings right so what I'm gonna do now I got these little babies here I had a bag of turkey um, wings to see mine are little tiny tots that's all you need look at little tiny and I baked them off really good you can see I already split them down the middle off camera so this is the turkey wing baked to perfection so what I'm gonna do is sit this right here and like I said I already opened it you know I don't know the special way they open it or whatever what they be doing but I opened it just like so and what I'm gonna do is take some of my rice on my dirty rice and I guess there's no right or wrong way to stuff this you know just do it have fun have fun with your cooking have fun with your food so we don't want to go too crazy so I'm just go let's add one more scoop now also what I'm gonna do to spruce this up what I had left over in the refrigerator is a little piece of Velveeta cheese. You know, y'all know how the Velveeta cheese come in that long uh, cardboard box. This is what I had left. Cause I was like, you know what? Should I put cheese on these, or should I just keep them plain? But I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna put some cheese on them. Cause when it come out the oven, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Nothing major. Just take this cheese. It's so pliable. It's going to melt so good. Take that cheese just like that and put it over here. And again, if y'all want to know the recipe to this rice, um, I did do a video on it. Um, look underneath my stuffed bell peppers and you will find how I created this filling. So I'm just going to add some cheese on there just like that. So I got a feeling this is going to taste good. And now what I'm going to do... I'm just gonna take my foil. I got them wrapped up individually in foil, and I'm just gonna make like a little, a little house for the little guy. Okay, because we want them to like steam, but we want that cheese to get melty. So this is how I did it, and I made like a little, a little boat. I made a little boat for the dude. So what I'm gonna do is repeat the process with my other one. So here's the other one. Look at that tender, tender, falling apart. Look, come back. Where you going? Come back. Where you going? Okay. So look, I already bust that open. You got that tender, nice turkey meat all up in there. And let's add on some of our rice. Just stick it right on in the corners. Hope everyone is doing spectacular today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys as always. If you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, support a sister. Come on, on this journey with me. 
I shall appreciate it. And if you are a subscriber that always tunes in, I appreciate it more than you know. You'll never know how much I appreciate it, and I love it. Thank you so much. So here's our other one. Make sure you guys can see it. Yep. Okay, so here's our other one. Stuff with our nice, dirty rice. You can see bell peppers in there, onions, a little brown beef. So now let's take our cheese, just like we did with the first one, and just lay it on there. It's no proper way. You know what I'm saying? Let the cheese just melt all up on there. Don't freak out. Just do it. Look at that. Boom. Just put the cheese right up on there. There you go. Let's add a little bit more to our other one. So let's take this baby, and we're going to do just like we did the first one. We're going to wrap them in a little boat. We're going to wrap them right in a little boat, leaving a little open air. Just like that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy pumpkin pie. So now I have my two, my two turkey wings right here stuffed with the dirty rice topped with some cheese. So those are ready for the oven. So let's set those aside. And now let's start working on our little cute. Let me put this rice away put our rice away and then we are going to start working on your our drums or our legs and see they're not you know they're not humongous like the turkey leg hut because you know just use what you got you know peel it back peel it open see that how I got that open let me see if y'all can see, see see that how I got it open and what we gonna do now with this let me get my pan ready because this might get a little messy you know what, I think, let's see, this might, you know what, I'm going to fold this right now, because this one might get a little down and dirty. So, y'all remember our, y'all remember our uh, shrimp and uh, sausage Cajun Alfredo sauce, right? So, let's come over here and grab that. And what we are going to do, let me show y'all, just in case y'all just tuning in. This is our sauce with our shrimp and sausage. And listen, if y'all can, now these shrimp, they said was extra large. Y'all see how them things, y'all see, I hate that. So like if y'all got like the extra money, like the extra bread, just go on ahead and get y'all some colossos. You know, I was being cheap because these was on sale for like $10.99, but they shrivel up so bad. So look what I'm doing, y'all. We just gonna pour that Alfredo right on that beautiful turkey drum. Just like that. Look at that, it's cheesy, it's ooey gooey. Oh my, the sausage. Just like that, not too much. Set that to the side. See if y'all can get a view of this up close. So there we go. See that? We just put our cheesy Alfredo sauce right inside of our beautiful drumstick and what we gonna do we gonna also put this in the oven so it can just form up and get a nice crust on it and we gonna be good to go so I'm gonna set this in my pan over here and I have one more beautiful drum or leg I keep calling them drums little leg here and that's already opened as well. I already pre-opened it. Clean to the bone, tender to the bone. Get your life together, tender to the bone. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, is go ahead and stuff this bad boy with our Alfredo sauce. And I will be back, y'all, with the finished results when it comes out the oven. See you in a minute. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam, here is the finished product. Uh, 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 uh. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to dig in. This is the um, uh, sausage and shrimp Cajun Alfredo turkey leg. Now let me see if I could just dig in there to show you guys how tender. OMG, look at that. Tender. Tender love and care. TLC, baby. And here is the dirty rice filling on the wings. T 
tender, cheesy, ready to be served. Y'all, I'm so excited. I gotta go because I'm so ready to dig in these. They came out spectacular. I already taste the fillings. I already snuck a piece. I ain't gonna lie. Let me stop fronting. They came out excellent. Listen, this goes, you do not need to be in Houston to have you a good, nice stuffed turkey, wing, or leg. Use what you got to get what you want, honey. And as always, I thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys all on the next recipe. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.